In this video, we're going to go through how to have DaVinci Resolve 15 and 16 both run side by side. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm loving DaVinci Resolve 16, but looking at the comments and looking at a couple of issues, honestly, that I've experienced myself and a couple of um, people who've watched my videos have reached out. The issue is going full into DaVinci Resolve 16 blows away your old system but that's not necessarily the case all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the location of where your program is installed and we're going to make a backup of that whole program copy and paste yep All right, so we made a copy. Now we're gonna come in here and rename this. And we're just gonna call it DaVinci Resolve 15. All right, now let's go over here to DaVinci Resolve now. So what we're gonna do is come in here. Let's go ahead and pick our database. We're gonna back this up, which I actually already did. But let's go ahead and do this again. Back up. didn't take very long and then on this one that's still in the original database I'm gonna back this one up as well too all right so we're all good me personally I like using the SQL database instead of a file and I think that's when I made that move but either way like I said most of the stuff I do at home so let's go ahead and close that and I have downloaded the beta. So let's go ahead and extract that. All right, so now let's go ahead and launch this. All right, so let's go ahead and install everything there. All right, we're all done. So let's go here and let's go to our shortcut here all right so now we need to upgrade our database we're going to say yes i'm going to say no for right now and then this one i don't think i really need so i'm actually gonna disconnect this one all right so we got everything here so we're all good now let's go ahead and close this and now what we're gonna do is navigate over to our folders here all right so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna pin it to my taskbar and then I'm gonna pin it to my start All right, now what we're gonna do is do the exact same thing, but we're gonna, for um, for 16, but what we're gonna do is do a different icon so that way we can have it stand out. So let's send this to the desktop first because we wanna change that icon, so. And this is for the beta. So what we're gonna do, right click go to properties let's change our icon all right so in the description I actually am using the old DaVinci Resolve 12 icon for this to make it stand out so I'm just gonna go browse to my downloads and here's the icon that I made so now when I pin this to my start and I pin it to my taskbar. I don't know exactly which one that I'm using because it's a completely different color. So might want to rename that, but 
it works. So if I come in here, click on this one. There's our beta. All right, there's our beta. So then if we close this, let's go back to our original. And then there's 15. And we're going to remove this database because we're not using it. And see, this one is pointing to our newer one. So we're going to disconnect this one and we're going to restore the backup that we made. All right, we have our stuff here for 15. Let's go ahead and close 15. And then now let's open up 16. All right, so I hope that helps guys. So that way you can actually still run both at the same time and just make sure I'll link the description on how to back up. But again, I showed you how to do it in here, but um, that way you can save face and don't have to worry about if you lose everything and you can still run both at the same time while taking advantage of the new features in 16 without losing the reliability of 15. So if you like this type of content, guys, I appreciate it. Like, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification. That way you're notified when we come out with new videos. This is AJ. We'll see you on the next video. Later.